Jewish life in the first century, when these stories took place, was very complex. The Romans controlled Palestine then with an iron hand and severely limited Jewish freedom and autonomy. Jesus and his disciples were, of course, Jews. So were righteous men like Rabbi Gamaliel and other community leaders at the time who did not accept the messiahship of Jesus. As is true with every group, however, there were also leaders like Caiaphas, a Sadducee and high priest, who achieved their positions of authority through political maneuvering and whose harsh and dishonest ways were reprehensible in the eyes of most Jews, both then and now. These Bible stories show people of different backgrounds and viewpoints interacting, at times, in conflict. But the overriding message being communicated is always one of goodwill and love toward all. Son of God. Come away. 
away from the window, Andrew. They might see you. Why should he, James? What does it matter if we live or die? It matters, Peter. Simon, I denied him three times. We have to go on. Don't you understand? We have to fight. Didn't you learn anything from him? We must never fight. The sky. Even the sky is angry. Father, I saw him die. Why didn't he save himself? He had the power. Father, when he died, he looked glad. The way you look when all the nets are in and it's time to go home. That's right, Daniel. His work was finished. Yes, he went home. Procurator Pontius Pilate. I am Joseph of Arimathea. Oh, I know you. You're one of the Sanhedrin. Well, you've nothing to fear. Jesus is crucified. I ask for the body of Jesus. <laughs> Can't you even wait until he's dead? But he is dead, sir. I don't believe you. Jesus was a strong man. Guard! Where is the centurion in charge of the crucifixion? He's here now, sir. Jesus of Nazareth. He is dead, sir. We made sure of it before we left the hill. Why do you want his body? I was his friend. Friend? <laughs> Now, after he's dead, I meet one of his friends. Yes. Take the body. Thank you, sir. Joseph of Arimathea. I'm not responsible. My hands are clean. So, he's dead. Sir, we killed an innocent man. It's too late for that now. But I was ordered to keep the peace in this miserable land. Yes, sir. He died for peace. Joseph! Oh, Nicodemus. I'm glad you've come. I brought... I brought spices to cover him. Yes. Enough for a king's burial, my friend. That's right. A true king. Come. We must wrap his body before the Sabbath.
What are you doing here, Caiaphas? Isn't today the Sabbath? I thought you Jews were supposed to stay home and worship, or whatever you do. You gave that blasphemer's body to his friends? Don't you dare raise your voice to me, Caiaphas! Your Excellency, while that imposter was alive, he said, I am to be raised again after three days. Tomorrow is the third day. Now his friends will steal his body and claim he rose from the dead. They'll raise rebellions all over Judea, and then Rome will... Oh, don't pretend to be worried about the welfare of Rome. Just tell me what you want. Post a guard at the tomb. Make sure no one steals the body until the third day is past. Indeed. <laughs> I'll send soldiers to guard it. Caiaphas! Tomorrow it is finished. Then, I never want to hear you mention Jesus of Nazareth again. This tomb is now sealed by the authority of Rome. You too, keep watch all night and don't fall asleep. I'll send you replacements at dawn. None of us sleep after watching all day. Oh, come now. It's not like we're working. <laughs> we are guarding a dead man. Wake up and eat. We brought bread and cheese. Were there any soldiers looking for us? There were soldiers, Thomas. But I didn't stop to ask them if they were looking for anyone. I have to go find my twin brother. He could be arrested in my place. I bought oil to anoint him. They won't let you near him. They have soldiers there. Soldiers or not, we're going to the tomb. I'd love to show those soldiers what I think of them. Just eat, Simon. The true disciples of Jesus aren't killers. I know. But what are we? A bunch of frightened men. Why can't you still tell people about Jesus' father? Who would believe in him now that he's dead? I would, and shame on you if you don't. Wherever he is, he's watching. At least, we should try to make him proud of us. She's right. I know it, John. I, I'm just sick of being cooped up in this room. I'd rather die trying to teach his words. Yes, his words. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. His words must never be forgotten. Yes, Matthew. They must not die with us.
What's happened? They've taken him. Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. How can that be? Remember what he told you. The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified. And the third day, rise again. Go now and tell the others what you have seen and heard. Body's gone. You saw what happened. The gods have taken him. Oh, do you think Pilate is going to believe that? I say we talk to old Caiaphas first. Yes, yes, I bet he'll keep us out of trouble in exchange for not telling anybody what happened here this morning. He is risen. The men there told us. What men? They've taken him. Taken away his body? But don't you understand? He lives. Father, is it true? Jesus is alive? Daniel, we all wish you were alive. But we can't let ourselves believe silly rumors. It's true. No matter what you believe, it is true. He's gone. They stole the master's body. They... Couldn't even let his body rest in peace. Why do they hate him so much, even when he's dead? Is it you're looking for? If you're the one who took him away, sir, please tell me where you laid him. Mary. <laughs> My master. Oh, don't touch me, Mary, for I have not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren and tell them that I am now ascending to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. I tell you, I saw him with my own eyes, and he spoke to me. I was at the tomb, Mary, and he wasn't there. Why would he show himself to you, Mary, and not to us? Well, maybe he took pity on me. Because I was crying. They won't believe you, Mary. They didn't believe us either. We've tried all day to persuade them. We don't think you're lying. Just imagining things. But you should believe us. With all my heart, I wish I could. Peace be with you. Is it you? Look at my hands and my feet. Touch me and see. For a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see me have.
<laughs> angels? Angels? <laughs> Nonsense. They must have bribed you. Nobody bribed me. <laughs> Yet. How much? How much money will it take to make you tell the truth? That they came and stole the body? Nobody stole anything. We'll tell... We'll tell the truth. <laughs> that we were asleep when the body disappeared. Is this enough to help you remember that story and no other? Well, I don't know. Pilot will be very angry with us for sleeping on duty. Oh, I'll protect you from Pilot. <laughs> nice doing business with you. We priests paid 30 pieces of silver to have this Jesus dead. Now we pay even more to keep him dead. Well, now it's finished. Surely it's finished. And you expect me to believe this? I'm gone for a week and I come back and you've all lost your minds. We saw him, Tom. We touched him. I'm sorry, John, but I'm a reasonable man. Now, if I don't see it with my own eyes, then it isn't... isn't... Peace be with you, Thomas. See my hands and my feet. Touch me. Doubt no longer, Thomas, but believe. My Lord, my God, because you saw me, you believe. Blessed are those who have not seen me, and yet believe. Sir, the story flies through Jerusalem. Jesus is risen, they say. His apostles and several women have seen him and touched him. Then arrest them. Arrest all of them and stop them from telling those lies. We can't, sir. They've escaped into Galilee. If your soldiers had done their duty... They did their duty. But all the Roman legions could not have held Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> you really believe it? You believe he was resurrected? Well... I don't believe it. Jesus can't be alive. I refuse to believe he's alive. all night. Look, Father. There's a man on shore watching us. Friends! Have you caught anything? No! Nothing! Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and you'll make a catch. On the right side? <laughs> we cast on that side only an hour ago. What difference does it make? Come on, Peter. It's worth a try. Yeah, a pull! Pull, James! <laughs> I am pulling, Andrew! <laughs> Father, there's too many fish! <laughs> I've never seen so many fish! <laughs> all at one time! <laughs> fish all night, and... No... Quickly, raise the sail. Let's get ashore.
Simon Peter, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Then feed my lambs. I will. Simon Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Then feed my sheep. Simon Peter, do you love me? Master, you know everything. And you know that I love you. Feed my sheep. The apostles returned to Jerusalem, and for 40 days Jesus taught them. And then the time came for him to leave them. Go and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Teach them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of time. Ye men of Galilee, why do you stand there, gazing into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken from you into heaven, shall come again, in like manner as you have seen him go. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. I'll always be watching for you. Oh. Uh -huh.